This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I There's my beautiful souls and welcome or welcome back to the Harfell Tarot today I'm going to do a collective reading for you guys as a token of appreciation for your continuous support so thank you so much guys uh, for uh, your support for supporting this channel I'm gonna try to see who wants to reach out towards you and what's this person's intentions so for the collective let's see who wants to reach out and why Who wants to reach out here? Someone that you're in separation with, someone that uh, might have some health problems for some of you here. Maybe they need your help uh, with some sort of money so they can uh, resolve uh, their health issues for some of you. For others of you, this could be someone that you're in no sort of communication at the moment, uh, an ex probably, uh, with the Four of Swords. Let's see. Who wants to reach out for the collective? Who's this person that wants to reach out towards my collective? Mm, the king of wands so this could be a fire sign someone that in a leadership maybe position someone that you had or have still a very strong uh, magnetic attraction towards someone that um, uh, it's really good with their words like they can sweep you off your feet only by uh, uh, their words by their communication the way they speak I feel like this person can just uh, uh, what's called in English um, mesmerize anyone that listens to them okay You have some sort of conflicts with these persons. You've been through some sort of disagreement. And yeah, I expect communication. Like that's the confirmation card. Eight of Wands. Oh wow. At the bottom of the deck. The Empress and the Two of Cups. I'm going to take these Two of Cups and put it here. Uh, definitely uh, <laughs> my collective. This is your ex that is trying to reach out towards you here. Uh, they could be... Uh, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or uh, Libra for some of you. For others of you, this could be an earth sign with Ace of Pentacles like Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn, and a lot of fire sign uh, I'm seeing for the rest of uh, you here. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or we have some water as well. So we kind of have all the zodiacal signs here. Could be anyone like cancer pisces scorpio here but strong uh fire sign or maybe you guys are majority of you the collective watching this a fire sign it doesn't have to be of course but i see there is a lot of passion between you and this person there is this uh magnetic attraction towards you and them I feel like this person um, that wants to reach out to you here, um, for some of you this could be someone that um, it's very very attracted to you with the Empress here as well. They love the way you look, the way you dress, the way you just wear yourself. Um, they love your nurturing uh, nature as well here this could be maybe for some of you your mother and uh, if you guys having uh, or a sister for someone out there that wants to reach out they might have some health problems you had some sort of disagreement in the past with this person here and um, they need your help and they want to reach out 
but they are a bit conflicted on how to approach you and ask you for money here that's specific message for someone out there um, but what I'm getting here um, this could be someone as I said uh, you guys had some sort of disagreement here um, and this person <laughs> Uh, it's very drawn to you and I feel like they they're such a good communicator like they're so good with their words like they can just make you from the word uh, they're speaking the way they um, communicate like I feel like this person is someone that has that uh, silver tongue is what I'm getting as well um, they could see you with the Empress like and they can imagine having you as uh, their uh, wife if you're um, a female watching this like they're imagining um, <laughs> having babies with you like oh my god but uh, i feel like you're intimidating this person a bit even though they show up very confident with that king of wands um i feel like you're intimidating this person they are losing their nights of thinking about you they are losing their sleep over you here Oh God, this person, you're driving this person crazy here, my collective. What I'm getting though with um, this four of swords here. Um, this person, it's taking uh, a period of rest and recuperating. Just a second, I need to drink some water. I'm losing my voice for some reason. Okay, sorry for that. Okay. Um, this is someone that uh, is going through a period of rest, of uh, recuperating at the moment. Maybe they're healing, maybe they're... Uh, for some of you, I'm getting with this Four of Swords that this person could actually might try to avoid you at the moment. Uh, they're ignoring you. I feel like this person at the moment, in the present time, the moment you're watching this, um, they're going through this state of contemplation, thinking deeply about their next move here. They don't know, like, they have their eyes on you. You're their price, is what I'm getting here. Like, this person, he's very determined uh, to reach out and take action no matter what here. Like, they have their eye on you. But... Uh, because of the conflicts, or maybe this person is going through some sort of challenges or internal conflicts, uh, they don't know how to approach you. As I said, we seen that anxiety card here, the Nine of Swords. So I feel like they took um, a, step, a step back from you here, from the connection with you, in order to recuperate, contemplate, and see what's the best course of action here on how to offer you something uh, stable, a partnership with the Two of Cups here. Um, also, I'm getting with this card here that um, this person is just yearning to reach out and they've been in this period as i said of deep contemplation they've been fantasizing i feel like about you here at night time like this person is just looking at your photos on their phone in bed laying down in bed and they're looking and checking your profile uh, profile online of uh, <laughs> I feel like this person at times um, they're even masturbating or pleasuring themselves over your pictures as well. Um, I feel like, as I said, they're just fantasizing a lot about you. You're driving this person crazy with all this fire energy here, with all the wands. And I feel like this time you, um, they're taking away from you to build up uh, their strength to reach out here and uh, the, this time apart this separation between you and this person here i feel like uh, this is making them build up their desire even more the more you guys are in separation the more they want to reach out to you the more they want to see you the more uh, they want to hear your voice um, they want to be around you uh, they want to communicate badly here with you with the eight of wands 
um, I feel like this <laughs> the separation time is just making this person just hear more intensely for your touch, for your scent, for the sound of your voice. Uh, and I feel like they're dreaming of the moment that they can finally express their pent up passion as well. Um, there is so many here. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> what are you doing to this person here? Or who's this person? They're madly attracted to you. Could be even in love with you here with the Two of Cups. It's everything is possible. Um, but yeah, followed up by this rest. I feel like uh, there is going to be uh, an opportunity after this person have uh, took their time for themselves to heal and um, see what uh, their next action here. I feel like uh, they will present themselves, especially with Eight of Wands, expect uh, some sort of offer, communication, some sort of gift from this person uh, to head your way. Um, I feel like this, uh, the person is going to see a new change for growth here, whether in terms of a relationship. For some of you, this could be uh, a business partner. Maybe you guys have some sort of disagreement on how the business uh, should do, go, in which direction. And um, you kind of... Uh, ignored each other stayed away from the your business partner here for some of you um but they are ready this person is ready to offer you something uh, valuable such maybe time resources new beginnings uh for some of you as i said this could be about money some sort of gift here um i don't know but I feel like this is a new beginning for sure here, uh, headed your way with this person, or at least this person, this is what they want. Um, you'll have this golden opportunity, it's going to present themselves here with this person. Um, I feel like this person is ready to offer you something tangible, valuable. I feel like you're uh, going to have this chance again with this person to explore these uncharted territories of pleasure together as well. I feel like this person wants to shower you with gifts and experiences that will just leave you breathless, uh, feeling cherished, adored. Um, now with uh, this king of wands, as I said, this person has their eyes on you. Uh, they feel this mutual attraction, they feel the passion here, they can take their mind off uh, you here, guys, I don't know why, but this person just wants you badly. Uh, this king of wands just represents someone who is strong-willed, determined, ready to take action, so I feel like this person has been scanning the horizon and now is focused and driven. Uh, they have decided that it's time to make their move and are eager to overcome challenges that maybe you had with them here you've been going through um so yeah this is someone that's very powerful that, that they have this dominant force to them like even in bed they like to dominate the things <laughs> and uh, lead um but uh, I feel like this person has this internal force that's filled with fiery determination. They've been watching and waiting for you. Um, I feel like their desire for you is growing stronger by the day with this King of Wands. And they're ready to take control here, uh, to lead you into this world of intense passion, maybe erotic exploration. Uh, I feel like this their focus is entirely on you and they their need is to claim you i feel like it's just undeniable with the cards we are having here they create to feel your body i feel like pressed against theirs to hear you moan uh, of pleasure and uh, i feel like uh, they want to take you to new heights here as well Now, as I said, had there been some sort of conflicts between you and uh, this person? Maybe this person as well is going through this um, internal uh, conflicts as well. But um, even though they show very confident, uh, there's still some element of uh, com uh, conflict here. Like uh, maybe um, a playful one. 
uh, they imagine the thrill of chase for some of you the excitement of the little competition maybe and they want to engage in a dance of dominance and submission here uh, to feel the electric tension built uh, between you before it snaps into this frenzy passionate love making uh, i'm getting that for some of you this person wants to have that uh, makeup uh, sex <laughs> and um they struggle here i feel like um they struggle when uh, it comes to you here maybe uh they're afraid that there is some sort of competition or maybe you guys um been in separation with this person because there was some sort of competition either on your side or on their side uh, maybe you had multiple sweaters or maybe this person had they were undecisive whom to choose here but with the eight of wands definitely i see communication between you and this person back and forth this could be online communication for some of you this could be someone that's at a distance um but i see them if they're calling you texting you uh writing online on some social application uh here is what i'm getting but uh yeah when they will uh, finally decide to reach out i feel like it's going to uh, happen quickly and decisively so expect these urgent uh, messages from this person or call that uh, is going to set your heart racing here they have a lot of passion here for you. I feel like uh, this person uh, loves to chase you as well. Um, and I feel like they want to feel you, uh, feel the intensity of their longing as well. The heat of the desire, I feel like it's burning through the distance that is uh, between you and them at the moment here. And um, they're ready to sweep you off your feet into this whirlwind of passion is what i'm getting here now with the two of cups uh, i feel like at the heart of their desire is this deep uh, soulful connection here they don't just want uh, this fleeting encounter with you here um, they want to explore every inch of your body and soul is what I'm getting with this card here to become entwined with you in this dance of love and pleasure. Uh, I feel like this person just imagine nights filled with this tender uh, caress, uh, caress uh, whispered secrets and the sweet uh, afterglow of shared ecstasy here. And I am getting that uh, this person's ultimate goal is to create a, lo a lasting, a loving partnership that just satisfies both of your physical and emotional needs as well here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see the real reason why they want to reach out here for my collective why they want to reach out yeah they want to give you some sort of um communication some sort of clarity maybe apologize for something um express uh, their emotions towards you here with the ace of swords and the emperor i'm getting that this person in the past might have been a bit rigid um they were very busy maybe they were a ceo uh, someone that uh, had uh, a lot of work to do like they are so focused on their work making sure that their little empire is running correctly that they didn't have time to show affection uh, communicate their feelings towards you here and maybe this uh, is why it led to some sort of separation from you and some sort of conflict uh, you might be dealing with an Aries or uh, an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. But definitely this person just wants to give you some sort of truth. Why they were being so rigid. Why they were not having time for uh, adventures. Of uh, having the, Why they didn't have the time to have some fun with you. To express their feelings. Why they acted the way they acted with the Emperor card. I feel like this person kept you a bit at a distance. They put in some boundaries uh, that they didn't want to cross them. They were like 
acting super mature like I don't know could be someone that's older than you also you have the Emperor and you also had the Empress earlier oh I don't see it I think I mm, shuffled it so this could be your uh, soulmate uh, your uh, counterpart here your divine counterpart uh, I feel like you and this person are sharing this uh, spiritual connection here with uh, the Emperor and the Empress we saw earlier. Okay. Yeah, uh, with the Eight of Swords now at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this person, as I said, it's stuck on you. They are stuck on you. They keep thinking about you a lot. Like, uh, they could be also feeling trapped in some sort of situation that they weren't able in the past to see a way out of it. But now they are very determined with uh, the King of uh, Wands and the Emperor to break free from this eight of swords energy maybe even this person yeah they if for some of you if this person was in another relationship they're choosing to free themselves and be single from that relationship um let's see let's clarify a bit the cards for you here my um, collective why is the four of swords here Yeah, for some of it, this is either this person is love sick uh, with this card, or uh, there is someone here that uh, needs your help here. They uh, they're having some health problems that they need to recuperate. And again, uh, there is someone that is going to ask you money, maybe it's for some sort of treatment, or maybe for. Uh, uh, hospital hospitalization of, of some sort here they are conflicted if they should tell you about uh, their sickness or not here uh, why is the ace of pentacles here for the collective yeah you will definitely ex um, have this conversation with this person they want to bring transformation here they want to transform the, the dynamic of this connection and they'll present you something tangible with the ace of pentacles uh where's the king of wands clarify the king of wands yeah they they they're having their eyes on you and they're determined to write you something but uh, they're taking some of their time to think about how to approach you what to write how to get back in touch with you maybe how to start the conversation five of wands why is the five of wands here if this is someone that uh, might be sick and needs money they're thinking on uh, how to let you know that uh, they're struggling at the moment, that they're going through some sort of challenges. They, they're, they're struggling to tell you the truth. This person might be even dying here for some of you. Could be a grandmother or someone older at 90, age of 90. That specific message. Or maybe 72 of age uh, why is the five of wands this person uh, is thinking about you a lot <laughs> and they're kind of um, they're reminiscing about the past about the conflict well, why the situation ended up the way it did 
uh, how come you came to uh, into this argument uh, they are um, keep thinking about it they are replaying the event in their head they're missing you as well here dearly. Okay, why is the eight of ones here? Clarify the eight of ones. Yeah, if you guys been waiting for some sort of um outcome in this situation here with this person your ship is finally arriving you've been hoping waiting for the uh, some sort of messages from this person so well this is your confirmation uh, message that the waiting is over you're not going to wait much longer here with the eight of wands the communication or the offer you've been expecting from this person it's uh, on its way here to you uh, where's the two of cups here look the, this person will just offer you either a partnership or business partnership here someone uh, maybe You'll be offered a new job here from a CEO or from uh, someone in a high position, a leader position here. But uh, for the rest of you, this person will confess their love. They are ready to make you theirs. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. I feel like this person, um, they're looking uh, for uh, that clear communication, like the sun is uh, rising here after a period of maybe stagnation. This you to be their uh, pillar of support. You, they have hope regarding uh, the future of this connection they wish to have this uh, victory here they want to let you know why the things been stagnating uh, between you and this person but with the constanza here uh, constancy like this person is determined again we have that determined uh, determination energy from this person here to come and bring you some sort of news messages uh, clarity regarding the situation between you and them they want to clear there like they want to clear the things between you and them Uh, why is the emperor here? I feel like this person uh, with the emperor and the prisoner, uh, they've been uh, kind of slave to their work in the past and they want to clear that or maybe they were trapped in another situation. Uh, maybe they uh, are a father this person could be a father and uh, they had to put the attention into uh, their child even if uh, they could be divorced and that's why they were feeling like they shouldn't uh, jump into anything here with you for some of you uh, for others of you as i said i feel like this person is just um been trapped in their work they were so focused on their empire on their money on their work uh, they were kind of self-centered is what i'm getting maybe a bit uh, uh, what's called uh, not naive um they have a, had a big ego before, like everything was about them, is what I'm getting. And they were trapped in that mental state. Okay, let's see what other messages here for you regarding 
this reading what else for some of you you are dealing with the Pisces with this card but the fish speak about luck um, I feel like this person could be feeling that they're very lucky to have met you to have you into their life um, but also speaks of your luck it's about to change here Maybe this person you're dealing with could be age of 34, or maybe you guys are. Um, but um, this speaks about that abundance again. Um, this that ace of uh, coins energy confirmation message that this person wants to bring something that will be very abundant here in the relationship with you. the king of uh, pentacles this could be a business partner again for some of you uh, could be someone that's uh, wealthy they're doing pretty well for themselves they're good with the, the money they know how to make money what else for uh, my collective here clouds yeah, I feel like this is that five of wand energy, like, uh, and the ace of swords energy, like, finally, this person, if uh, the things were confusing between you and this person, you never knew where you're standing with them, uh, they were acting a bit cold uh, with that emperor energy here, they were uh, keeping you at a the distance, they were not showing any kind of affection, they were always focusing on themselves, their business, um... They are coming to clear out any clouds here, any doubt, any confusion. Maybe they are still in this cloudy uh, state of mind still at the moment with the Five of Wands, Four of Swords. Maybe th this person is to um, clear their judgment when it comes to this connection. But uh, you have the heart underneath it, so definitely this person has these deep feelings towards you here. Okay, anything else here? What else? Who's this person that wants to reach out to my collective and why? You have the Temple of the Rose. Ancient power, expression, activation, scarlet codes. I feel like this person is... Uh, going to come and express um, their feelings towards you here like uh, with the um, activation maybe their crown chakra is getting activated they're realizing uh, their feelings towards you here the breathing rose heart healing emotions connection time eases so yeah there is some healing that the this person or maybe both of you need to do here with the heart healing they have emotions uh, towards you here uh, this is another confirmation message and there is a strong connection between you and this person as i said they could be your soulmate here with the two of cups uh, the sacred waters nourishment replenishment health rest self-care uh, i don't know someone is sick for some of you here uh, maybe this person, as I said, they're lovesick for some of you. They're going through some hard times. Uh, maybe this is you that needs to take some time for yourself, um, heal, uh, rest. Maybe this person needed to take some time off because they were so drowned to their work and they were only focusing on their work all the time didn't even notice you when they had you around like they were not quite ignoring but they never showed the affection they were always too busy with their own persona i see healing coming anyway and this connection for you and this person 
what that is here. If you guys have been neglecting yourself, uh, you need to take care of yourself a bit more to pay more attention to your body. Uh, but I feel like this is uh, this person that uh, needs uh, to take some time off. Uh, love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurt and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So they want to heal the connection here between you and this person. So if you want to give them a chance, um, it will help you heal whatever challenges you guys been through here. It could be age of 31. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. The power of manifestation, stability with the number four. Practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. So maybe this is your message here. If this person will reach out towards you, uh, try to be compassionate and understanding here of their situation and act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so you will always consider them for some of you this could be uh, they could be age of 37 or maybe you are but uh, that's the manifestation kind of like um, maybe some of you are dealing with a twin flame mirroring each other so uh, the more uh, you're acting like you have love into your life, the love will come towards you much easier here with this card. Someone here needs to show more compassion between you and them. Silky, come out of hiding. Embrace who you really are. I feel like this person for some of you was avoiding you and they will come out of uh, from hiding from avoiding you they will reach out to you uh, embrace who you are uh, who you really are I feel like maybe for some of you this person was feeling that they're not enough for you or maybe you felt like you're not enough for this person you're not happy with the way you look but this person is madly attracted to you and could be in love for some of you so stop worrying so much and just embrace who you really are you're enough for this person here anything else here dreams Vivid dreams, dream messages, dream teaching. So I feel like the universe maybe or um, yeah, for some of it, the universe is sending you some sort of uh, messages through dreams here. So pay attention to your dreams. For others of you, I feel like this person is dreaming about you a lot. Maybe you're dreaming about them as well. Um, but you're you're receiving the universe trying to send you some sort of messages here through the uh, through dreams and through uh, through dreams you're learning some lessons maybe there is some sort of insight there for you to um some sort of messages that you need to learn um here or learn something from them uh they could be age of 23 for some of you or maybe you are Let's see what else here. Yeah, there is something you need to release or maybe both of you need to release. Maybe this person needs to release their attachment to work, uh, another relationship, um, past hurt, childhood trauma. And yeah, they will take a leap of faith here towards you. They're like, oh, hopefully everything will go well. Anything else? Oh, too many. 
discovery. And this person is about to discover something, maybe to, through their dreams, or maybe you're discovering something to your dreams. Some sort of information. New ruins. And this is like that tower card. I feel like um, this connection needed to come to an end because it was not built on a strong foundation and it, um, it would have led to some sort of ruins if, if uh, the things have didn't went uh, the way they did between you and them. Maybe this person feels like they're in ruins now uh, for not having you around, like they're very beaten down. Uh, they are very gloomy, maybe they, are, they don't see at the moment uh, the bright side, they don't realize that they can just reach out and apologize in order to make everything well between you and them. They are afraid that they ruin everything here. Let's see. What else here for this reading? What else? Any other messages regarding this reading for the collective? I have so much to say to you. Yeah, definitely this person has some uh, things they've been holding back for a while their emotions, their passion and I could never forget about you so yeah, as I was saying you're driving this person crazy your absence is driving this person crazy no matter how um, how hard this person tries to move on to avoid you uh, to stay away from this connection they are not able to do so and confused. I don't know what to say to you, but I, I feel like this is like they don't know with what to start first or how to um, approach the situation, how to approach or engage into a conversation with you. And at the bottom you have, all I really want is to see you again. So, yeah, this was uh, your reading, uh, my friends. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like to the video if it resonated with you or consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. And thank you so much. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.